All right. Um. I'm watching Glenn Beck again. Apparently, he's back on Fox for a while. It's like a TV special he did, so, so that just freaked me out. But, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, let, let's see if anybody else finds this a bit concerning. But, uh, they're turning our postal service into straight up Nazis! America, we have a deadline hanging over our head, and it's August 2nd. That is the day that the country hits the debt limit, the debt ceiling of $14 trillion. So, how do we solve our spending problem as if we had one? There's a new idea. The U.S. Postal Service could be the answer. It's a union leader that has this idea. To alleviate the post office $8.5 billion deficit, he says, let's not cut Saturday delivery. Because that move, that would impact 80,000 jobs and save $3 billion. That's not enough. He says, the president of the National Association of Letter Carriers, that we should consider a new idea, like conducting the census 10 years down the road, or uh, national polling, or delivering medications, or helping law enforcement in a number of ways. Ooh. We could, if we could give them a badge and a gun, wouldn't that be great? Specifically, he suggested adding sensors to the postal trucks to detect biological terror threats. Now, that sounds cheap. He says, quote, they can work with Homeland Security to detect things that are in the air. Wow, that is awesome. If we could just give our postal workers AK-47, wouldn't that be great? Give them handguns, a badge, some metal detector thing and they can sniff out the mail and everything the mailman can fight crime they can stop terrorists we can maybe get rid of our firefighters too because they can fight fires <gasps> they're in the neighborhood why don't they have why don't we have them pick up our garbage too we wouldn't need garbagemen firemen police nothing we'll just make them members of homeland security because after all they're already out on the streets they see everything all these people are losing their jobs the mail carriers would be a force of 200,000. Think about it. 100 cities cutting cops because they can't afford it. But now we make the letter carriers, Department of Homeland Security officials, 200,000 sets of eyes. It'd be like having... It'd be like having a civilian force that would be just as powerful, just as strong, and just as well-funded as the military. We cannot continue to rely only on our military in order to achieve the national security objectives that we've set. We've got to have a civilian national security force that's just as powerful, just as strong, just as well-funded. We should think about that. sure we have to cut funding to the police department so we're going to fire all the police we have to cut funding to the fire fire all the firemen you know what let's just make the mailman do all that yeah let's train them to be uh you know like our own homeland security so all the, the all the the postal service will become nazis and first thing martial law and then they're going to make up some bogus threat because gonna make us some bogus threat to make us like it's a lockdown we have to stay in our houses and anyone else who's caught outside will be a terrorist and will be shot i told you all about the fema camps well that's where we're all going does anyone care yeah i'm just i'm, I'm just freaking nuts i'm just i'm, I'm crazy right well uh, yeah let's give them a a m60s and have them come to our houses every time they deliver the mail a machine gun every time they come to the mail they're going to be, you know how much money we're going to have to waste just so they don't, they check every time for biohazard material because apparently Americans are just straight up terrorists. And that's what the government said. What do I have to do to, to, to get these people not to 
being one of their depopulation programs, so maybe I could live. What do I have to do? We're not going to sell it to the rest of our people. We have to convince them to fight with us. And even if they don't, that, that's the horrible thing. Nobody's listening. Nobody's getting ready. So, so, so we're fighting with our people to fight them, but our people aren't fighting with us. They bankrupted the country. Now they're going to kill us all. There's a reason every country on the planet is practically broke. And it's not because America decided, oh, let's spend some more money. No, there is a reason. Homeland Security. What do we need Homeland Security for? There are that many terrorists in America that want to blow up everything that we need Homeland Security like these measures. Aren't we broken up already? How many people have heard this stuff before? I mean, I know I'm not the first one who said this to you. Alright, alright, relax, relax. We all know it's just a recession. We aren't 86 kajillion dollars in debt and debt and the clock is due. No, 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 no. It's, it's just a recession. In five years, we'll be fine while the rest of the world gets screwed again we get in another recession. It has nothing to do with how much money we spent or, uh, yeah, it has nothing to do with that. We're fine, we're fine. Uh, oh, yeah, the school system's fine, too. Don't worry about that. Uh, especially if you just graduate from high school and going into college. You, you don't have to worry about that.